Happy Monday, everybody. Thank you so much for beginning your week with Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. I am Natalie Taylor, and I am so excited to introduce today's co-host, the one, the only, really you need no introduction, Thunderbug, everybody. Welcome. How are you? He's doing well. Now, I can't have you here and not talk a little bit about the season, Thunderbug. What are your thoughts? Are you ready? We've got the season opener right around the corner. Yeah? What do you think of the team? Good, good. This may be a little quiet, folks. I don't know if we necessarily thought this through. I mean, Thunderbug, I want you to post and all, but you're kind of soft-spoken today. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. This may be a long show. No offense or anything. If you stick around, though, maybe there's a person or two that could help out and fill out. Talk a little bit more about the lightning and have fun with us. That might be a little more boisterous. What do you say? What do, we, what do we bring out a former NHL player, former Lightning player, and now broadcaster? Of course, we're talking about Adam Hall. Adam, you probably have a few more things to say than Thunderbug today. I can't get a word in edgewise with this guy around. You, well, he's not. Are you st are you quiet because the camera is Thunderbug? Is that what it is? He's a very shy person. He is shy. Uh, when I think of shy, I think of Thunderbug. Well, Adam, welcome. How are you? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Happy Glad you're here. here. Are you good sharing your seat? Okay, he's given us a He's thumbs a good up. teammate. I like it. I like it. Well, you're a good teammate. We're excited to join us here for this for this fun show, and we've got a lot coming up. But first, let's talk a little bit about your background in case people are like, oh man, I recognize his name or I recognize his face. Adam, you played how many years in the league? So I played about 15 years pro, uh, seven different NHL teams, and uh, five years spent with the Lightning. And of course, we uh, talk a lot about the Lightning these days, because away from your playing days, which we're taking a look at you right there, you now are one of the broadcasters for the team. Yeah, it's funny how that uh, comes full circle sometimes. That feels like it was about 100 years ago now, but uh, obviously a, a great experience in, in my life, and uh, it's just fun to be around the team and, and uh, still stay involved with hockey. See, you kind of more from player to broadcaster. Thunderbug apparently more from co-host to interior decorator. I'm sure he's going to be bringing some other things behind us there. So as a broadcaster, though, let's talk a little bit, uh, I don't want to get two X's and O's, last season, record-setting season for the Bolts. Yeah, it was. It was actually, uh, it was incredible to see. They had, uh, they set 62 wins. They tied the 95-96 Red Wings for the most wins all time. Uh, they had Kucherov set the uh, points record for uh, Russian-born players in the NHL. Stamkos set a, a career high, I think, uh, you know, for points. And it was just amazing to see uh, the regular season. And everyone, I think, had picked them to win the Stanley Cup. Um, unfortunately, it was a tough exit from the playoffs, but you know, I think uh, that's just how difficult it is to win the Stanley Cup. It, uh, things happen, uh, and it's, it's, I think, a part of what can make them uh, great this coming season is having that little bit of experience and adversity and being able to learn from it. Well, and like you were saying, I think sometimes Lightning fans, especially if they haven't been a fan of the NHL for many years, you forget sometimes how difficult it is to win in this league and how really it's anybody's game. Would you like a cookie? I don't know if I'd recommend eating These aren't part of my pregame meal. I can't oh, do a show with that. Oh, I mean, that's for after. That's for you and me after the game. <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, talk about though. I think sometimes people forget that it is really hard to win, even though the Lightning have done it so well for so many years. That just that little bit of hope that the Blue Jackets had there in the Stanley Cup run, that could have that could have done it, made the difference, right? Yeah, it was. It's amazing, and, and, and there's such momentum swings in sports, not just hockey or, or playoffs, but uh, every sport. And so, uh, unfortunately, if you're able to seize that and, and take control of a series or a game at the right time or the wrong time, uh, that can make the difference in series. So the right time or the wrong time. I think someone's trying to make you comfortable here. In I the like guest. this. This is, yeah, this is the best treatment. I'm going to hire this guy full time. I know. Do, you, like, do you do like massages to our work? How can we make this? This is, he's just, there we go. He's just making it easy for us. I could, I could get used to this. Well, again, we want to get back to the winning ways, though. Are you excited for the season? Do you like what yeah, we're seeing on absolutely. the ice? Absolutely. I think that uh, pretty much everybody across the board has picked the Lightning to win the Cup again this season. They're odds-on favorites, um, and for good reason. I think they've uh, made a couple of key moves in the offseason, brought in uh, both of their blue line a little bit. Uh, and I think that uh, Braden Point, obviously, looking at that mm -hmm. situation, trying to get that mm -hmm. uh, you know signed yeah. before camp and, and before the season starts. But, um, yeah, I definitely like their chances. I like it, too. Well, you know what people don't realize, and I've talked about this a lot, the organization – it's a good look, Adam. It's a good look. I like the this. organization overall does so much for the community. The fan experience is the best in the league, in my opinion, and they do so much for the community. Talk about the involvement you've been able to see and some of the great things that are coming up that people can get involved with, too. Yeah, it's been incredible. Uh, all the different uh, programs that they've had, right up from the uh, Learn to Play program, um, some of the different things that they're they're really lowering the barriers to entry to play uh, hockey and get in, uh, involved with the sport. And so for them to be able to reduce the cost uh, for players, for young kids to try the sport, uh, the 100,000 uh, sticks I think they put in kids' hands and, and uh, communities. It's been a lot of fun to see. 
Well, speaking of fun, Adam, you're doing a great job talking about the community involvement. Officially in my makeup, are you telling me I need makeup or are you willing to do my makeup? You're going to do my makeup. That's a whole other segment itself, literally. Look at this. Well, while you're doing that, I know you've got a great example, too, of community involvement that you've come up. What, you're going to do some cornhole? Explain what you've got That's going right. on. That's right, yeah. So uh, I'm involved with a charity called After School All Stars. Uh, the mission that we provide comprehensive after school programs that uh, keep children safe and help them succeed in school and life. Uh, and this is one of the, our annual events. It's just a fun event. Uh, last year, we did a huge corporate challenge where we had uh, a bunch of different events and, and flag football and all these different things. And uh, it, we just got amazing feedback. And part of what we did was cornhole. And and you know the beanbag games and everybody loved it so yep. with, uh, according to that feedback this year is turning into a huge uh, cornhole tournament and fundraiser for everybody uh, that's November 14th uh, 6 to 9 p.m. at Julian B Lane Park and um, it's just incredible to see all the the feedback and everything we're getting so uh, we're looking forward to it great location too there was the website on your screen for you so you can get more information keep up the good work again we've got a fun show coming your way it is a, a good treat Thunderbug, of course, uh, setting the stage for us. I'm feeling relaxed. I'm going to redo some makeup. But in the meantime, before we get to some of this fun, let's go ahead and see what else is coming up in today's Perkins Morning Menu. We love when we get to help an eatery show up something new, right? Well, today, Haven is in the kitchen with their new heavenly brunch. Plus, we're talking with the one and only Gerard Butler about his role trying to save the president in the new movie, Angel Has Fallen and will soon be falling into a new season, which means new flavors of beer. See what is on this year's top picks. You're a hockey guy, so I know you've got to be a fan of beer, right? I've been known uh, once or, or twice, yeah. So you have to twist my arm a little we'll bit. Do that but. once or two. I was going to say, again, Thunderbug, I love, the, uh, I love the things that you've been able to do to the set. It's been good. You know what, though? One of the things that we always love doing on the show, along with being comfortable, talk about giveaways here. We love hooking up our viewers, Adam, and this is a great one we want to pass along because this summer at SeaWorld Orlando feels amazing. You can plunge down the new Infinity Falls, the world's tallest drop. Meet your best furry friends at the new Sesame Street land and get your heart racing as Electric Ocean lights up the night. Don't miss summer at SeaWorld Orlando, where you can save 45 bucks on select tickets. But we want to make the deal even better. We're giving away a family four pack of one day park tickets, parking included. Go to our Facebook page to enter for your chance to win some fun at SeaWorld Orlando. You know what? I think I think uh, Thunderbug's a little disappointed he lost his seat. So he's just taking over the camera, folks. <laughs> Stay with us, guys. We'll be right back after the break.